This video is overflowing with restaurant secrets. The culmination of over 50 years of my dad cooking chow mein, chow mein well over 10,000 times. You're about to learn the battle-tested techniques that only chefs know to make the best damn chow mein possible, right at home. By the end of this video, you'll understand why you shouldn't just boil your noodles, how to make the signature sauce, and if you don't have a wok, how to make this in a frying pan. Get ready to learn all of the simple tips and techniques you can use to level up your cooking right away. Thanks to Nimble Made for sponsoring this video. First, we'll cut half a red onion into strips. Then we'll cut the green onions into roughly one and a half inch long pieces. We'll cut the carrot first into slices. Then lay down the slices to cut into strips. Next, we'll cut the cabbage. We'll cut the cabbage into long, half-inch thick strips. The reason we pick these specific vegetables is to have some crunch to go along with our noodles. We want some variety and texture, but we also want ingredients that can stand up to stir frying. So we choose these more hearty vegetables rather than something like bok choy or spinach, which would quickly soften and wilt. But you can substitute anything that has some sturdiness, such as celery, the harder stalks of some greens, and broccoli. We'll slice the thickest parts at the end so the thighs are even in thickness. Unlike some other recipes, we're cutting the chicken with the grain here, so we can keep the structure of each strip when cooking. It's fine to cut against the grain, but the important part is that we're cutting into strips just like all the vegetables, so it complements the shape of the noodles. To level up your confidence in cutting all kinds of ingredients, check out our comprehensive masterclass on knife techniques in the Kanto Cooking Club. To get access, check out club.mimithlao.com. We'll add a third tablespoon of water here, then mix by hand. Finally, we'll add a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, which helps counteract any gamey odors. Then we'll mix that in. We have all of these ingredients listed on our blog at madewithlao.com, along with step-by-step -step instructions and video clips to guide you as you make the recipe at home. After we're done preparing the meat, we'll move on to making the sauce. 
，兩個茶匙先夠。唔夠色咧，就再俾下糖咧，一個糖一個茶匙。如果你係唔想落雞粉，就唔可以唔落。我就落啲雞粉落去，因為鮮啲，啲味道鮮啲。一個茶匙夠啦，攪勻佢。Chow mein should have enough sauce for flavor, but not be so saucy that there's pooling after cooking. That would be low mein. Now that our sauce is done, my dad will explain the type of noodles we're using today. 呢個麵咧就係普通嘅粗麵嚟嘅，麵粉同水嘅啫。佢黃色之後，或者有啲色水，黃色水或者有啲鹼水咁落去嘅，冇乜其他特別個配料落去。廣東餐館炒個炒麵咧，就屙落用呢只麵多噶啦。嗱，呢啲係粗麵，有啲有麵咧就唔同呢只麵噶啦。四合黃炒麵就用嗰啲，一般係用啲有麵有麵做。當然，如果我唔中意係粗麵有麵，我中意有麵，亦都冇人話你唔啱噶喎。When selecting noodles, we're specifically looking for the thick, fresh noodles like this one. If you can't find those, you can use ramen noodles or dried egg noodles. In a pinch, you could use pasta noodles, but it's not ideal for getting that signature aromatic stir-fried noodle texture. Let's say you buy a bunch of noodles, fresh noodles. What is the best way to store them if you're not cooking all of it right away? You now that we know what kind of noodles to use, my dad will show you how to prepare them. If you don't have a steaming setup, do not fret. There are many creative ways to make one with what you already have. A sieve over a medium pot of boiling water and a lid to fit right on top of the noodles will have similar results. Another alternative would be something as simple as a plate propped on top of balls of tinfoil in a large pot. Really, anything works as long as you can raise a dish safely above the water and cover the pot or pan. For an even quicker option, you can microwave them with a bit of water until the noodles are pliable and evenly heated. 要開大火蒸，如果你愛嚟炒面咧，蒸過之後咧，再炒咧，嗰啲面咧就硬爽口啲，唔會咁容易腍咗。A common mistake people make when cooking chow mein is only boiling the noodles. Steaming hydrates and cooks the noodles, but only boiling results in the noodles absorbing too much water, giving you mushy noodles. However, with lo mein, boiling is preferred since lo mein noodles should have that softer texture. For example, you say, I'm a lo mein. Lo mein, I just simply boil it. After boiling it, it's soft. 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 食嗰時候咧，佢又唔可以太硬喎。炒麵同啦，咬落去要硬。你可唔可以解釋炒同撈麵點樣分開啊？炒麵咧就直成燒熱只鑊咁樣炒，有啲鑊氣嘅香嘅香喺度，加埋嗰啲配料落去。如果你係撈麵咧，撈麵就唔需要炒，嗰啲麵就煮過之後咧擺喺度，煮好多啲料再冚上去。一種係咁樣嘅撈麵，就係咁樣冚上個面。另外有啲撈撈面嘅話咧，佢就俾個係咁炒，炒咗之後佢落啲水，咪嚟個圈。好啦，朋友們，面蒸到而家蒸好咗啦，大概十五分鐘到嘅啫嚇。見到佢嗱，呢個可以拎起佢嗱，拎起佢。跟住咧就除咗呢個呢個戰架，將啲面再倒翻落去，用啲水再煮煮佢，咁啲面咧就會腍啦，就唔會又都唔會太腍。用跟分啲啲水煮，煮分腍佢，唔再再煮咧，佢已經硬得滯啦。煲五分鐘咁上下啦，煲翻腍佢咧，就炒，炒呢啲面就好爽，又硬。We'll use chopsticks to separate the noodles so they don't clump together. 再加多啲少少水上，唔夠水，浸過啲面，咁啊 OK 啦，跟住我嘅。We'll cook covered if needed to keep the water at a boil for about five minutes total. Okay, take a look. 
。個面都熟唔熟嘅啫，搣開面知道啦。佢總係白色嘅，總係白色嘅就唔做啦。而家唔係白色嘅，蒸一蒸汽嘅時候咧，啲面咧就好細條。但係而家俾翻啲滾水浸翻佢嘅話，佢啲面咧就粗啲啦。而家倒出嚟，將火倒過嚟呢邊。After boiling, we'll strain out our noodles. We can toss them a bit to let any excess water drain out, or use chopsticks to turn the noodles so more steam can release. Here, Daddy Lao will cook the noodles in the stir fry very soon after steaming and boiling. But if you have a more significant time gap between the boiling and stir frying steps, like more than five to ten minutes, you should shock the noodles under cold water to prevent overcooking. With our noodles cooked, we can start the stir fry. If you're worried about not having a wok, we've got you covered. Come on, come on, go jump, come on, let's jump. 分咗兩次炒，嗱，用呢只鍋，炒開始炒完啲翅，用鐵鍋炒完，就再用呢只淺啲嘅。好多朋友冇呢個屋企啊嘛，咪用呢個咯。所以今日要炒兩兩碟面。Stir frying is an intense and precise cooking method. The whole cooking process takes mere minutes. We highly suggest that you have all your ingredients prepared and ready to go as soon as you're preheating your wok for a higher chance of success. Now, we'll cook the big pot. First, we'll heat our wok on high. 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 睇你幾多雞肉咧，我今日又係用一個湯匙嘅油上去咧。誒、呃，我嘅資料就分咗兩次炒啲雞肉，菠蘿材料都係分咗兩次，燒熱只鍋。嗱，燒啲只鍋，有見到有啲添出嚟氣氣出嚟嘅時候咧，就證明只鍋就已經燒到夠熱噶啦。熱咧就俾油，將只鍋向向咁攞攞佢。We'll swirl the oil around the wok to get a nice non-stick surface. 再塞翻埋火佢嚇，塞埋火再加啲燒油上去。呢個要三百。你如果太猛火一下嗰啲，底下嗰啲會燶咗啊，所以分得慢火俾落去。我分得兩次炒今日嚇。We'll add in the chicken。啊，用筷子嘅，啊開佢。係咪唔即刻反應？唔使即刻，俾落去一陣間先反。啊，而家冇燒鍋，係咪？做啲咩嘢？ After about 30 to 40 seconds, we can turn the heat back up to high. Now, with the spatula, we'll stir fry and flip the chicken for another 40 to 50 seconds. We'll scoop out the chicken and get ready for the next step. We'll first stir fry the onion and cabbage for about 20 to 30 seconds. Then add the carrots. Then cook for another 30 seconds. We'll turn the heat down to medium and take out the veggies. We'll add the onion and cabbage. Now we're ready to add the noodles. With the heat back to high, we'll spread out the noodles a bit, but let the bottom sear for about a minute. After a minute, we can flip the noodles. After letting it cook for 30 to 40 seconds on this side, we'll start stirring and flipping constantly. We'll stir fry the noodles for another minute. It's important to pay attention to the noodles here. If you see them browning too much, it's time to turn down the heat. On low heat, we'll add the sauce we created earlier. Then we'll mix with our chopsticks, making sure the sauce is distributed evenly. Why is it so important for the noodles to not clump? Because if you know them one by one, they won't be like that. If they clump, the middle will be soft, right?
，簽埋一嚿嘅話，拎住散開曬，即係即係每條一每一條面都可以吸到到啲味喺度啦嘛。How do you prevent the noodles from clumping？ 如果你係炒味咧，好似我蒸過佢整散咗之後，再泡過熱水再炒，就唔會一嚿嚿嘅。OK， 就算你食剩咗擺過嘢，都唔會一嚿嚿嘅。呢啲係濕面啊嘛，濕面蒸過會變硬咗之後咧，佢就唔會，佢唔會再黐噶啦。After the sauce is all mixed in, we'll start to add everything else. 加油，俾落去，開落去，攞勻佢。As you can see, my dad likes to use a spatula in one hand to scrape the bottom and chopsticks to separate ingredients. Together, they do a great job of picking up and mixing. We'll add green onions and bean sprouts and continue mixing. We'll stir fry with everything for another minute. We'll mix in the sesame oil for a final minute. Look at that. Now we'll plate this wok version. For those of you who don't have a wok, 頭先咧用鐵鑊炒咗啦，而家咧就用呢只淺嘅 pan 嚟炒啊，開大火呵。If you have a non-stick pan, we don't recommend heating it empty like this. Instead, add the oil first, then turn on the heat to high. The order of cooking with the frying pan is essentially the same, but the method is slightly different. Like before, we'll start with the chicken, letting it sear on one side before stirring. 食完之後，食翻慢慢慢慢火。Ironically, the chicken stuck to this supposedly non-stick pan, but not to the wok. Now here's where the method differs a bit. The bottom of this pan is much wider than a round bottom wok like before, so we can actually cook the meat and veggies together with a flat bottom pan like this. Like before, we'll need to set this aside to stir fry the noodles separately. Since even a chef can have food stick to the pan, don't worry if it happens to you. Like the wok version, we'll add oil, then the noodles. We'll pan fry like before, flipping to the other side when it browns a bit. When the noodles are aromatic, we'll add the sauce, mix well with the noodles, then add the veggies. Yeah,错。呢个整路嚟嘅，你嗰只铁锅就唔同啦，咁反唔同啦，系嘛？呢个方便就慢慢咁响响个发响整个转啦，咁转咯。因为佢想赚出嚟。Yeah，如果你要识
落嗰啲味嘅料嘅時候咧，生到好慢火。你要你用得只鍋，用得開嘅時候，你就知道佢鍋嘅功能。Now here's a quick summary of the stir frying process. First, you'll get your wok or pan hot with oil. Then add the chicken. We'll let it brown on one side, then stir fry until it's mostly cooked, about a minute and a half, and set it aside. Next, we'll add in the veggies, harder ones first, then softer ones. Once that's slightly cooked and aromatic, or about a minute, we'll take them out. Then we'll cook the noodles until each side is slightly brown, about two and a half minutes total. On low heat, we'll add the sauce and mix it in with the noodles. Then we'll add the pre-cooked meat and veggies back in. Then the more delicate veggies. For us. The green onions and bean sprouts. Stir fry everything together for a minute or two. Add the sesame oil, and after a final mix, we can plate. You can follow this general process for cooking chow mein with your choice of ingredients, and with some practice, you'll get this homemade chow mein tasting amazing. Well, as amazing as it can be without using a commercial grade wok burner or dedicating years to mastering Cantonese cooking. So a shout out to all those unsung heroes like my dad in the back of Chinese restaurants making this classic dish day after day, year after year, working tirelessly. To warm the bellies of their customers and to support their families. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. Hello, 朋友们，鸡炒面，呢啲铁锅同埋平底锅炒嘅面就炒好咗啦，希望大家中意嗬。红堆，妹妹落嚟吃面咯。Cheers. Cheers. Oh my God, 妹妹 ，you're so cute. YouTube thinks you'll like this recipe next. Let's see if they're right. A huge thank you to our wok stars and all of our chefs in the Canto Cooking Club.